All right, so for breakfast today, I'm gonna be making Ezra some Grinch pancakes. That's what I like to call it, but don't let that name scare you guys because it's basically the same thing as regular banana pancakes. I just add in some greens though. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is adding three fourths cup of old fashioned oats. You guys could use like the one minute ones or whatever you have on hand. So I'm just gonna be blending that up until it's like a flower, flowery texture. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in one banana, two eggs, some cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract, and of course, one cup of spinach. And just to make it a little bit more of a real pancake texture, I just like to add in one tablespoon of whole wheat flour. You guys can use the regular flour, but this is just the one I have on hand. Then I'm gonna go ahead and spray my pan, and of course, just like a regular pancake, I'm just gonna wait till it like bubbles up a little bit and then flip it. Oh, we can go across the oceans and see the world tonight. Oh, say hello. So this is how much he ate today. He didn't finish it, but I'll just go ahead and give the rest to Ethan or Emma. I'm sure one of them. Will love this. <laughs> All right. So today we're actually going to the apple farm for my niece's birthday. So I'm gonna be packing some snacks for the road. Um, I have some of these Good and Gather organic. Cheeto puffs. These are actually like the Simply Balanced, but I think they're at Target's um, switching their brand. So this is like the new look of their bag. So I'm gonna take some of that in a Ziploc bag, and then I'm gonna cut up some green apples. These are like green organic apples. The only reason why we got those is because they're on sale, but <laughs> or just be regular apples. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Yeah, so I'm gonna cut off the skin and then cut it up really, really tiny for him and put it in his little snack cup. The key is to cut it up like really, really thin, or, like paper thin, so you just like choose them up. All right, so we actually had an unexpected day and we ended up staying out the whole entire day. So we went up to the mountains and after he ate those snacks, we had some chicken and waffles. He had a lot of chicken and waffles. <laughs> I was so surprised of how much he ate from that. He had a side of fruit. And towards the end of the night, he was still awake. So we stopped at Starbucks. I got something and I also picked him up one of those Peter Rabbit's fruit squeezies. Those are really good. He loves those. So that is like my go-to thing to get for him when we go to Starbucks. And that is basically all he ate today. But of course, I would pick this video back up the next day and I wanted to show you guys what I made him for the next day. Some real recipes, you know, and especially because I really didn't film that much of what he ate. Um, so right now I'm gonna start making the achote oil. Yeah, so I'm so excited to finally show you guys how I make this because I use this achote oil in a lot of my recipes and it's really simple to make. So the first thing I did is add two cups of vegetable oil, but you can use whatever type of oil you want. I normally use olive oil, but with this achote oil, I just use like, you know, an affordable option. But this is what you're gonna wanna get to make it. These are achote seeds and you're gonna wanna go ahead and put all of it inside and you're just gonna wanna put it on a medium-ish high heat so it can boil. And once it starts getting to a boil and it starts getting really red, go ahead and take it off, strain it, put it in like another pot, something that it won't stain. And this does stain, just warning you guys. <laughs> and you're just gonna wanna let it cool down on the side. I put mine in a mason jar. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make some rice with my fresh achota oil. So I'm gonna be putting some in a pot, then adding one cup of rice, then I'm gonna season it with some garlic powder and salt. And you're gonna generously wanna season this rice to make it taste good, obviously. <laughs> then I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up, toasting it on a medium heat. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in two cups of water, cover it, and just let it cook until it's finished.
gosh he is so hilarious he does not like me spoon feeding him sometimes i'll try you know to like get it done quicker and like less of a mess but no he's so independent now um honestly i'm thankful for that because because oh my gosh i had to spoon feed ethan and emma until forever but if you guys end up trying this recipe out definitely tag me send me a picture anything i just want to know if you guys like it and how your kids like it i'm just so curious to know because this is one of our favorites to eat Oh, Next time, he's gonna have one of these stony filled organic yogurts. He's emotional right now, too. Oh! Why does this happen every single time I film? Ezra! Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't smash it with his hands yet. I got dressed because I'm filming another video today, so that's why I didn't. And then we go to the park. We go to the. He literally spilled like almost all of it. I'm pretty sure it's all gone now, huh? <laughs> oh no, he has a little bit left. He's good. All right, so since he dropped his yogurt, I just chopped him up some strawberries with whipped cream. And the reason why I give him whipped cream is because sometimes it is hard for him to eat his fruit, and I want him to have a healthy snack option. So like, he likes dipping stuff too. What do you say? No. What do you say? Were you saying all done? Is he all done? Okay. And if he gets hungry later, I'm just gonna give him some more of that because he barely kind of eat it. Yeah, so after he ate that for lunch, I ended up giving him the same thing because I ate it a little bit later on the day and he had some more with me. So now it is time to start making some dessert because you know, what are these, what I eat in days without a dessert because your girl loves her sweets. So I was originally gonna make them applesauce muffins. Those are one of their favorites to make, um, but I ended up wanting to try something new out. So I'm making apple cider donuts. And spoiler alert, they were so good. So huge shout out to whoever posted this on Pinterest. I'm gonna go ahead and leave their recipe link down below so you guys check it out. And I think I just might make these again for Thanksgiving. I'm gonna make these with some pumpkin cheesecake muffins. And also that reminds me, let me know if you guys wanna see a Thanksgiving prep, like cooking the food, shopping for it, all of that. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys wanna see something like that. Whoa, he's a Whoa, look at Yeah! All right, so Z is gonna be the first one to try these donuts out. I chopped some up in a bowl for him, gave him a fork because it's a little bit messy. And I also gave him a cup of milk. He has milk in the morning and milk in the night before he goes to bed. And this is also his last snack before he goes to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of these videos from us. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you can get notified every time we upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. But no matter what the country, the city, the street, by land or by sea.